Hello wonderful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk to you about a movie that I recently saw in cinemas. I'm talking about the movie Freelance, directed by French filmmaker Pierre Morel. It's a 2023 action comedy that blends political drama, humor and a touch of romance, or I'd better say bromance, starring John Cena as Matt Mason Pittitz, Pittitz, Pittitz. I'm actually not sure how his surname is pronounced. I think in the movie they call him Pittitz, but I would say from now on I'm gonna call him just Mason. So Mason is a former Special Forces soldier who just turned back to lawyer after a traumatic event. The story kicks off with Mason Petitz living a mundane life in American suburbs, feeling disconnected from his true calling, like being a soldier. However, when his former comrade Sebastian, who is interpreted by Christian Slater, who now runs a military security company, offers him a job to protect a journalist performed by Alison Brie on a trip to the fictional South American nation of Paldonia. Initially reluctant, he eventually accepts the offer due to financial pressures and due to his wife kicking him out of his house. And that's when the roller coaster of political drama and red juice begins. Without giving away too many spoilers, it becomes evident that the dictator of Paldonia, Juan Benegas, performed by Juan Pablo Raba, may not be the straightforward antagonist he initially seems to be. Mason's journey in Paldonia involves unexpected twists, a growing bromance between him and the dictator, and some humorous moments. While freelance attempts to blend political satire into its plot, it doesn't quite achieve the Biden social commentary it aims for. Nevertheless, the movie succeeds in providing viewers with a lighthearted and enjoyable experience. I would say it's the kind of film that's perfect for a lazy Sunday afternoon when you're looking to unwind with some popcorn on the sofa. From now on, spoilers ahead. If you have not seen the movie yet, please pause the video now and thanks for watching. So, spoilers starts in 3, 2, 1. Have you seen the movie already? Then let's go. So, what we figure out from the beginning of the movie is that the helicopter was taken down by the dictator himself. This was already a valid reason to decline the job, in my humble opinion, but Mason accepted it anyway. This spices up things a bit, since after the failed coup, Mason is stuck with the dictator, who considers him a hero for protecting him from the rebels, having basically to protect him too. The bromance develops between Mason and the dictator Juan Begengas, and the cliché romance between the journalist and the bodyguard doesn't develop. And we are all grateful about this. What we find out is that eventually there are worse people than the bad dictator and everything ends well in the end. The dictator being in reality the good guy and allowing then the best for the country of Paldonia, the journalist reaching her goal to report a coup and filming an exclusive interview with the dictator and with the bodyguard finding again his purpose of life, being the hero, going back to his lovely family and being paid good enough to quit his boring job as lawyer to spend more time with his daughter and his wife. The cast delivers commendable performances with John Cena's likability shining through, Alison Bray's solid acting, and the standout performance of Juan Pablo Raba, who adds charm and depth to the character of a toothpaste commercial smile over the top dictator Juan Benegas.
In conclusion, Freelance may not be a cinematic masterpiece, but it's far from being a disappointment. It offers entertainment, humor, and a unique twist on the action comedy genre. If you're in the mood for an amusing and easygoing movie night, Freelance is worth a watch. If you had the opportunity to watch Freelance, please feel free to share your thoughts here below. Let's keep the discussion respectful and thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts. I'm already looking forward to reading your opinion. Thanks a lot and I will see you next time. Bye!